Hello XTC family and welcome back to crypto ready if you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place today we're going to be talking about XDC we're going to start off by looking at what a pro crypto congress would mean for our future and the big news for today is R3 selling itself we're going to clarify what is actually going on and finally some big news from dubai going all in on crypto so i hope you will stick around to the end we shall continue right after this intro looking at coin market cap currently the total market cap is 2.3 trillion up by about one percent the volume however is down by almost 50 percent looking at the rest of the market bitcoin at 67 and a half k ethereum at 2.4 k like we see here the markets are in the red but i want to pay attention to the rwa section as you can see here the top 10 cryptos in rwa are really badly in the red which is highly expected in my opinion because as you've seen at the top of the page just now a lot of new memes and randomly created coins are getting these massive 5,000% gains. But those are the biggest losers because a lot of people put money in expecting quick gains and they sometimes miss that boat and they lose a lot of money. That's a game that I don't play. I invest in a future. An XDC RWA is obviously the future. An XDC at less than 3 cents. It's an amazing life-changing opportunity. Talking about some important crypto news, especially as the elections are very close, what would a pro crypto congress mean for our future and crypto? First and foremost, yes, we need a new SEC chairperson. I mean, Trump has clearly said it that he is going to change Gary Gensler as soon as he gets power, which should bring a lot of good things for crypto. But either way, I do believe that crypto is going to flourish. So we shall see how this develops. Yes, talking further about legislation. Yes, we need more legislation on stablecoins and Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto markets. As we've seen earlier on CoinMarketCap, you've got random meme coins created out of thin air from random nobodies getting 5,000x% gains. Now, this is ridiculous. All this behavior needs to stop and we are going to get that to stop once we have proper regulations. And finally, yes, we definitely need a tax reform. We don't want a government who wants 50% of our profits from crypto because we've been holding for more than 7, 8, 10 years. Yes, we need something reasonable. And I think with Trump possibly coming in, with a better government coming in, with a pro-crypto Congress coming in, I think all these things are going to happen in a quick succession once we have them elections. But we shall see how this develops. But either way, crypto is going to win the day. Looking at the XDC chart, XDC currently at 2.7 cents, a $408 million market cap, and a 24 hour volume of 9.24 million, down by 10%, like the rest of the market. Yes, we are ranging. We are struggling to pass 3 cents right now. And when people look at this price and volume and stuff like that, they get confused, thinking, hang on a minute, with a lot of things happening for XDC, XDC attacking such a big market quadrillions of dollars in the future why is the price stuck below three cents well hang on ask that question to other utility coins that are having the same problem it's a show that's playing out it's like a movie playing out you know and the end result is going to be a good one and all this value will move to the right coins right now everything's kind of distracted you know everybody's distracted with these shiny objects like bitcoin i mean without a use case just remember nothing is going to flourish and yes on the other hand xtc is going to get a lot of money coming in through the blockchain because XDC has all them connections. And as you will see in today's video, a lot is going on. But XDC at below 3 cents is an amazing buying opportunity. So moving straight on to the main information. Bloomberg has tweeted out R3, the blockchain company backed by big name investors like Intel, is exploring options including selling itself. So let's dig a little deeper into this article and look at some key points on exactly what is going on. So as we already know, some background, R3 is the developer of the Corda blockchain. 
And just some more background information with XDC's connections. They clearly mention XDC here. R3 launched Coda in 2019. In 2021, XDC was taken as that settlement coin. And then as time went on, they got more and more bigger partnerships with bigger institutions. And then about a year ago, they cut 20% of their staff, which was expected because we have a massive recession going on. And they are not the only ones. If you look at history right now in the last couple of years, a lot of big organizations have either gone bankrupt or they have cut a lot of costs, including staff. So this is more than expected during a potential recession. But we can't forget the involvement of SBI, BIS, SWIFT, and some of the bigger names in the world which run the show for finance. Do you really think R3 is just going to close shop and disappear? Unless they had all the big boys in one room and said, yes, you know what, guys? We are ready for stage two. We want to move into global adoption. We want to put this blockchain out there, right? We are going to move out the way. You guys take over. Blockchain is ready. Quarter blockchain. Yes, we've already set up all the settlement stuff and everything's ready to go. Maybe this is the case. But either way, wait till you see what Atul has said. Do we need R3 for XDC? Listen to this. So Atul has said the payments use cases of XDC have moved past and beyond just R3. It is designed to work with multi-platform, including Swift, Keep an eye on the website and social media handles for the unveiling XDC for payments. So this is very interesting coming from Atoll that basically we don't need R3. We are past R3. Maybe R3 was helping them open all the doors because R3 does have a lot of connections with some of the biggest names in the world. Yes, maybe XDC was in that same room. It's made all the connections with some of the biggest financial players in the world and now R3 is stepping away because it's done what it had to. Yes, but XDC is not just for trade. Like Atul says here, XDC is for payments. But wait till you listen to what Atul said a couple of weeks ago. Atul told us not long ago, you should make it ready for 1 billion requests a day as payment use cases are coming. So as we see here, XDC regardless of R3 is moving fast ahead with payment adoption and yes i do honestly believe that r3 has done what it had to do it's got all the big boys in one room it's connected all the dots it's put everything together it's connected the old to the new xdc at the center and now r3 is probably going to step aside maybe they're going to get more involvement from other people but yes i think it's all a damn show xdc is still going to take over the damn world so don't worry about r3 guys right either way if they stay or they go XDC is still gonna do well but I will be keeping a close eye on this and I shall be reporting back as soon as I have any more information. Moving on to some more positive stuff for crypto. Mr. Man has said Dubai is all in on crypto and digital assets. They will help you move out there, get you set up in schools, houses, places of worship because they want to be a powerhouse of a crypto hub. So I've already listened to this clip myself and they want to lead the adoption of crypto. Who doesn't want to be the leader in crypto? Because crypto, you need to have understood it by now that it is going to be the future of payments. It's going to be the future of finance. It's going to be the future of everything you do online because everything is moving online in a digital format. No paper-based stuff, nothing for trade, nothing for value. They have for far too long worked in the dark right they are still running in the old ages everything is too slow right now it costs them too much and it costs the end consumer too much we want to be able to do everything 24 7. we are moving to the internet of value where value moves within seconds and that's why everybody wants to lead so remember this guys crypto is here to stay nothing can change the future for crypto Yes, you are going to have some ups and downs because as we start to get more regulations, but guys, it's all going in a positive way. Whoever wins in the elections, globally, crypto is going to win. All you got to do is diamond hands, right? Do not fall for the FUD, guys. There's a lot of FUD out there. I've seen a lot of FUD recently against certain projects trying to get people out. And I'm sure the weak hands have already probably sold. Don't be the weak. Diamond hands. Keep your crypto offline. Keep it secure, right? Hardware wallets like decent are the best because you hold the keys. 
An ad is gonna follow shortly guys, watch the ad and grab yourself a bargain because I've got a link with a discount. This discount for Decent is not gonna last forever. Watch the ad to learn why a Decent wallet is so good. So guys, thank you for watching today. I shall see you on the next video. I am using a Decent wallet, you know why? Because it has unmatched security. It is perfected with fingerprint technology. In total, they support 64 mainnets and more than 3,600 cryptocurrencies. The Decent Wallet uses a robust security technology. As you can see, they have a certified security chip, Bluetooth connection, automatic verification of genuine software, and offline key generation. And just before we talk about the price, Decent now has a blog. They give a lot of good information on the latest trends in crypto assets like XDZ and many others. So if you want to learn about crypto, please follow their blog. So talking about the price, you can currently get your hands on one biometric wallet for only $109. The usual price is $159. So currently using my discount link, you can now get $50 off. The link is now at the top of the video in the comment section and in the description. So help yourself if you want to get one wallet. On the other hand, if you want to buy two wallets, you can then get a bigger discount. You can currently buy two biometric wallets for $189. The usual price is $318. So using my link, you are getting a whopping $129 off once again. My link is now at the top of the video. Use the link and get yourself this massive discount and secure your generational wealth today.